So as we've been covering for weeks now, Donald Trump is in some pretty massive legal trouble. And the reason above all that all of this trouble is coming is that he is systematically lying. He and his corporation and his family have been systematically lying about the value of his various assets that he has at times claimed certain properties are worth hundreds of millions of dollars more than they actually were worth and that their value in some cases would increase rapidly over short periods of time for no good reason. But I have a new example that is maybe the most egregious yet, and it makes one of Donald Trump's favorite places in the world, one of his golf clubs, a literal crime scene. It says here, the documents released on Tuesday by the AG of New York allege that assets across Donald Trump's portfolio of businesses and properties were misvalued in financial documents as part of a possible fraud scheme. Among the properties I identified was the Trump International Scotland Golf Club in the countryside outside Aberdeen. A statement by James's office said the property was valued at $435 million in financial documents submitted by Trump in 2014, but this in represented an increase of more than double compared to its evaluation the year before. Officials said the higher figure appeared to be based on assuming the right to build 2,500 luxury homes on the property, despite approval to build fewer than 1,500 holiday apartments and golf villas on the property. And when asked, Alan Weisselberg, again, the CFO of the Trump Organization and the only individual in Trump world actually charged right now. Remember, the company has been charged and Weisselberg have been charged, but no one else has been, has been unable to explain how they got to that evaluation of 435 million. So put another way, there is literally no other explanation than they just lied. There is no other reasonable explanation than they just lied. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a typo. They lied. They had this idea that all of a sudden the property doubled because they could build these units even if they could, I don't even know if the property's value would have doubled just because of that. But then they had actual written documentation that they couldn't build nearly that amount of property and not even the same type of property. And they still went with the evaluation anyway. So what that's showing is that people in the Trump organization right at the very top. And as it's often been said by Michael Cohen and everybody else, big things like this are always signed off on directly or indirectly by Donald himself. They were lying about these properties evaluations. And so what this shows, whether it's this or a couple days ago, I was talking about how they lied about the value and the square footage of his apartment in Trump Tower in New York. Donald Trump is turning his most favorite spaces into crime scenes. So not only is it really delicious that we get to see him face a bit of pressure, maybe get to see him face justice, all of his favorite spaces are now deeply intertwined with this criminal investigation. His favorite golf courses, every single home he owns, now they're going to be under severe legal scrutiny for how Trump has valued them. Because it's not just a matter of the fact that he owns a golf course, if he's saying it's worth 200 million, but it's only worth 50 million, then that's a crime that hurts him financially. And it may have consequences both in the tax law and in loan fraud and all of those sorts of things. So he doesn't get to rest right now, whether it's locally in New York City, his hometown, whether it's at golf clubs across the US or even whether it's across the pond in Europe, in Great Britain, Donald Trump's lies are taking everything from him. Everything he holds dear is being ruined and it's all his fault.